All right, guys, I'm back with another video, and this time to preview the Masters, which is one of the best events in golf, the first major of the year, um, and definitely one of the most visible events uh, golf offers, and I'm really excited for it. The green jacket, you know, a tradition like no other. Uh, very excited. So this this uh, video will start off with a recap of the tournament that I last made a video about, which was the players, where my lock of the week moved to 10 and 2 all time, and a few other of my picks hit, and if you tailed, you were definitely making some money. And then the rest of this video will be a little different than my normal ones. I want to do a little more in-depth uh, preview. So we'll look at some of the players that I really like going into this tournament, and then I'll have another video next week uh, with my picks. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the recap of the players. Uh, the fifth major is the last one I released a video for. Uh, this is uh, one of the one of the biggest tournaments. Weather kind of messed it up. You know, it went in on to Monday. Guys were finishing their rounds and then starting their next round in the same day. Kind of was a, a mess. But the winner was Cam Smith. He played unbelievable. Um, emotional win for him. Hadn't seen his family in like two years, and they were there. And he did what Cam Smith does, you know, really good around the greens, really good putting. His wedge, his wedge game was unbelievable. He was he was just seeking pins. Um, definitely deserved to win the tournament. Played out, uh, played unreal. And then when it gets to my picks, three out of five was pretty good. Uh, lock of the week hit again. So what hit was Victor Hovland top thirty. Um, he finished tied ninth, I want to say, um, or tied thirteenth, and then. Uh, Victor Hovland, top 20, uh, also hit as well because of how he finished. And then my lack of the week, Daniel Berger, uh, you know, that hit pretty easily, top, tied ninth. That that was awesome. Uh, so my locks moved to 10 and 2 all time uh, and 13.27 units. So you're averaging more than a unit uh, per pick uh, with my pick. So that's that's really good. I'm happy about that. The two picks that didn't win were both Rory McIlroy. He was top – I took him top 20 and top 30. He was the first-round leader, and then with the weather and everything going on, he just dropped down to finishing in, like, the 30s. So that was unfortunate, but overall really happy with my picks. Excited to keep making money. All right, so here we are, the first major of the year, the Masters. Um, everyone knows it's at Augusta National. This place is just super beautiful. Um, you know, think of peak golf here. Um it's, it's just an amazing place, um, you know, and what makes the event so great is the exclusivity, you know, and the high standard that they keep up to. Uh, this place is in great condition all the time. And, you know, it's, they have the champion, uh, the past champion has a dinner that p he picks the menu the week leading up to it. Uh, the concessions have like a set um, menu, the pimento cheese sandwiches that everyone's always talking about. Uh, this place is, is awesome. Uh, and they try to lengthen it over the years, uh, but it's a par 72, 7,400 yards. Not the longest. Um, driving distance definitely helps here. And then what wins is, I think, off the tee and birdie or better percentage. So how often these people are bird these players are birdieing holes. Um, and ultimately, bottom line, I think whoever has the most complete game wins here. you got to be able to do it all. Um, distance off the tee definitely helps, but these greens are just super fast as well. So – it's important. Every every part of the game is important. You guys have seen in my last videos on some courses, I, I wait, you know, one one category more than the other here. But I think they're all relatively even here, maybe with driving distance off the tee, um, having a slight advantage. But that's that's really it. Okay, and then here are the odds uh, as of now for the Masters. John Rahm, the favorite. Uh, I placed a responsibly large wager on him. Um at the end of last year, uh, my hopes are a little less high than they were when I placed it. He hasn't been looking as great as a recent. Um, still, I think, you know, it, it's the Masters. Anyone can show up deserving of that, you know, that's the favorite. Colin, uh, great ball striker, playing really uh, – he wasn't playing amazing, so I'm not going to be too big on him. Jordan Speed and Justin Thomas we'll get into. Rory, um, you know, he's – he fits the mold pretty well for this course, and I could see him doing uh, making some noise here. And then Cam Smith, 
you know, coming off that win off the players. He shows up in those in these types of tournaments. And then DJ, great um, Masters history. Scotty uh, just became world number one. Uh, amazing story there. Winning three out of his past five starts, which is unbelievable. And then Brooks, who's just known to show up in majors. You know, he's quoted, He's been quoted on saying, I only practice for majors. And then Victor Hovland, who, you know, um, has been playing really, really well, a young star. And then Xander and Patrick, Cantlay and Bryson, all are on the U.S. Ryder Cup team. Hideki, a past winner. Daniel Berger, my lock at um, – at the players and who played pretty well there. Will Z, who's only had one start ever at the Masters, but finished second there. Sam Burns, who's coming off a win um, at uh, at the uh, at the Valspar, and then um, Shane Lowry, who's been playing really well too, and he shows up in majors. So that's who we got there. I'll go into a few of these guys. Uh, that I like. Okay, first let's talk about Jordan Spieth. His odds to win a tournament are t- plus 1,200. Uh, you know, pretty low, I think, compared to how he's been playing. But, you know, that's taking into account how big of a tournament this is, how well he does in big tournaments, and his Masters history. So positives on Jordan Spieth, Masters history, major history, um, and the Valera Open that he's about to play coming up. So he's playing the Valero Open the week before. He's known to go really low at that in his home state of Texas. So that, you know, will be a nice, like, practice, um, you know, feel good about his game going into the Masters. And he always shows up in majors. Um, And then let's take a look at his Masters history. One in 2015, has never missed a cut out of his nine or eight starts. And he has four top tens. It's eight starts. So four out of his uh, eight starts have been top tens, which is absurd. So that's why his odds are that good. And then next, let's talk about JT. Um, his odds to win the Masters are 1,200 as well, same as Spieth. And, you know, there's there's a factor of reasons, but you know, I think he's been playing some really good golf lately. Uh, his strokes gained from Tia Green have just been unreal. Um so his master's history won recent form. Like I said, he's had a lot of good finishes, did pretty well at the players. Um, w- week before that, he's had a good finish as well. And then he's third overall on tour in strokes gain T to green. And once that putter gets hot, which it can for him, he's really dangerous. And that's all he needs here at the masters uh, to make some noise. Um, and then look at his master's history, finished fourth in 2020, has never missed a cut in his six starts. And then he's finished at top 25, five out of six times um, he's played the Masters. Uh, and then next, we'll talk about DJ, who I, is playing pretty well. Um, what will really help him here is his distance off the tee and, you know, his Masters history. I don't know if you guys remember last year. But his odds to win are plus 1,400, um, a little higher than Spieth and Thomas. But his positives are his recent form, Masters history, and driving distance. Um you know, he's, he's been driving the hell out of the ball. Like, uh, I think it was in his match play last weekend. He, it was a 349, 369 to the T, I mean, to the green. Um, and he drove the green on the 18th hole, one up in this match. Um, and then let's look at his master's history. First in 2020, shattered the record, uh, scoring record there. Um, went unbelievably low. He's only missed two cuts out of 11 starts. Um, both those were when he was just wasn't playing great golf. Um, and six out of his 11 starts, he finished in the top 20. And then recently, uh, fourth at the match play, and then tied ninth at the uh, tournament that he played in previously, which was the players. All right, after DJ, Scotty Scheffler. Um, you know, just became world number one, has won three out of his past five starts. Guy's playing unbelievable. You know, finally got that first win, and he's just broke through. So his odds to win are 1,600 um, coming off the win at the match play event uh, in Dell in Austin. And then his positives are his recent form, obviously. You know, winning three out of five starts is crazy. Um, and then he's the world number one, and his putting has, like, improved drastically. Uh, he switched over to this new Titleist putter. Um, the numbers haven't really shown it, but 
it seems like he's just making way more putts, seems way more confident um, in his stroke. And that's, that's really great, a really great sign uh, leading into Masters and why he's won uh, and played so well recently. And then his Masters history hasn't been, um, you know, too um, long. But last year he did tied 18th, and I think the tournament before that is tied 19th. Hasn't missed the cut yet, um, and it was in top 20 both times. So not an extensive history, but a good one and a great reason for him. Okay, and then the last person I want to talk about is Will Z. Um, everyone remembers him coming in second place um, in his first start. So, you know, he's made a name for himself. Wasn't even didn't even have his PGA Tour card when he did that. So, um, his odds to win are thirty three hundred. You know, positive his recent form, his history at majors, and his strokes gain T to green. Um, he's played in three majors, and he's finished top ten in all of them. So, that's pretty crazy and that shows that he shows up for the big events uh recent form people will say that his putting has been awful and i agree except that uh this past weekend in the match play event he was making a lot of great putts and they didn't really they didn't have a data on it so i wasn't able to give you guys numbers but if you just go to the pga tour instagram and find the post of Will Zalatoris, you'll see him sinking in long putts and his stroke doesn't look as bad as it did uh the prior weekend at the players um, and then obviously, you know, he's known for his ball striking. He's second on tour in strokes get, gain tee to green. So if that putter just keeps up with what it was this past weekend, I'm very confident in how he'll do at the Masters, um, you know, and pretty much told you exactly what it is uh, already with his history. So that rounds out the guys I want to preview. I really like all those guys. I'm waiting to see when the odds come out. Um, if I had to pick one that I like the most, I think it might be Victor Hovland. Uh, I think his odds are a lot higher than what they should be. I think he should be favored up there with Justin Thomas with the way he's been playing. Um, and so just stay tuned uh, as as uh, as we get closer to the Masters. And just remember to uh, download Prize Picks. We've partnered with them um, so that they'll match your deposit up to $100 when you use the pro, uh, promo code PROPIX. It's the best daily fantasy app out on the market right now. We love it here. They have the PGA Tour stuff. I bet you they'll have some great stuff for the Masters. I've been winning a lot of those bets on there. Um, you know, the way they do it, it's the built-in promo with either the flex player or the power play. So you have an entry. Um, so you could take, like, a player's how many green regulations they're going to have, you know, their, their round score. It's really flexible, great way to make money. Um, and just a reminder, use that promo code PROPICS. All right. Thanks for watching.